every time that we leave the places where we go, uh, we have a moral satisfac satisfaction because um, you can look at the population in their eyes and you can see that uh, they, they are thankful for you. They clap, they, they sing, they, they rejoice with the, the fact that somebody, somebody stood in front of them to help them. Deep in the heart of Africa, meet the Portuguese Special Forces. They conduct unilateral or joint stabilization operations for MINUSCA, the United Nations multidimensional peacekeeping mission in the Central African Republic. George Moto is a platoon commander with the Portuguese paratroopers. He and 180 personnel are here in the capital Bangui, serving in MINUSCA as quick reaction forces. The special forces, alongside other peacekeepers, provide the mission with strategic and operational capabilities to protect civilians. Here, a dedicated company of specially trained light infantry soldiers have a battalion type of staff, comprising of operations, intelligence communications and medic cells. They train night and day, often going through tactical drills such as close combat training, shooting drills to maintain high responsiveness and operational effectiveness. Today, George spends the day with his team preparing for any eventualities. I do keep my soldiers busy all the time, not only in uh, the operations, but as well as physical training, because it is important to keep them uh, physically fit for the, the endeavors they take during the operational training and the operational uh, exercises and everything that they need to do. Like the weather, the situation in the Central African Republic of CAR can change in an instant. One day everything is calm, the next it could all erupt into violence. The rebels have become opportunists who take advantage of the chaotic landscape, shifting battle lines and the struggling government. Such was the case in November, when the UPC rebels advanced into Bambari, a town in the west of the country. They erected barriers and illegal checkpoints to seize control of the town that hosts tens of thousands of internally displaced people. The situation in Bambari uh, uh, start escalating uh, um, in a such way that uh, after a while the, the armed groups uh, uh, control uh, part of the city. Uh, when we say control, they um, were able to tax the people to uh, expel the population from their houses, uh, uh, control some of the, the roads, and um, uh, that uh, kind of es escalation uh, made lots of uh, population to move away from their homes. And uh, uh, when you reach that point, it's, you need to do something. Determined to stop the armed group's hostility against the population, MINUSCA's leadership scrambled the UN's quick reaction forces. It deployed a company of specially trained light infantry soldiers to stop the UPC rebels from advancing further, while simultaneously negotiating the removal of the rebel leader from the vicinity. Reports of armed groups on the outskirts of any town in CAR not only brings fear to the community, but also increases chances of other disgruntled rebel factions taking advantage of the situation by trying to control other parts of the country. In the background, intelligence and surveillance work had already been conducted, and with the refusal by the armed groups to withdraw in Bambari, each minute that passes, the population remained at a high risk. As the peacekeepers inch closer, a fusil out of AK-47 fire erupted. And we are taking fire from the north and from the east. At noon, another attempt by the rebels aimed at the peacekeepers was met with resistance. 
this time. Peacekeepers escalated the fight to the rebels and nothing would stop them. When the noise of the attack subsided, the peacekeepers initiated a shoot pause enter procedure, knocking on doors, going house by house and checking in every corner of the town. The Portuguese paratroopers confiscated weapons and collected useful data and other intelligence that will help in other missions. It was actually an operation where we encountered a lot of resistance. Uh, we fought back the, the resistance and we actually managed to capture uh, several materials that we had there and several weaponry and uh, caused a lot of casualties in the... We kept expelling them from the houses, from house to house, from door to door, until they were in the bush. Every time that we leave the places where we go, uh, we have a moral satisfac satisfaction because um, you can look at the population in their eyes and you can see that uh, they are thankful for you. They clap, they sing, they, they rejoy with the, the fact that somebody, somebody stood in front of them to help them. And uh, it was important for the United Nations to step forward and say, no, we are here and uh, if you do that again, uh, we are going to fight back, we are going to react uh, or, and uh, avoid that uh, you continue to do the harm to these people. The Portuguese contingent have conducted countless stabilization operations in the whole of Central African Republic. However, the operations alone will never be a decisive factor in bringing peace to Central Africa, especially when the change in tactics and the use of the conventional warfare by armed groups continues. This is why today, the peacekeepers have diverted their attention to another unique group of people that hold the future of this country, the young generation. In a special moment for the youth, the Portuguese have laid down their weapons for a different mission. They are engaging with students at Benji School in the capital, Bangui. The outreach program identifies students who perform exceptionally well in the academics and show good leadership qualities in school and also in their community. The peacekeepers have brought gifts like bicycles to enable them get to school faster. In turn, this allows them longer hours in the classroom. The youth are vulnerable to being recruited by armed groups and the lack of employment opportunities leads many into acts of crime. Those younger are not left out either. Each receive toys, pencils and school supplies. The excitement both from the peacekeepers and the students in the school is profound. The young people are the future, the kids are the future for each country and are the future for the, for the, for the Republic of uh, Central African Republic. And this activity, we bring all these toys from Portugal, our, field, our families collect these toys in Portugal and we bring them to give and to give to the children and to have a, a small gift, it's just only a small gift, a, a symbolic uh, gift, but it's a, a, a gift for our art, from the Portuguese art. Peacekeepers serving in the United Nations missions all over the world risk their lives every day to protect the civilians in the countries they are serving. The members of the Rapid Reaction Special Forces under the umbrella of the United Nations mission in the Central African Republic are no different. For their dedication and contribution towards a stable, secure and peaceful environment, their efforts have been recognized by MINUSCA's force commander, who has recently awarded them with the highest commendation for bravery in the fight against armed groups in Bambari and other strongholds in Central African Republic.